Hi everybody and welcome to Locking Paul. Today I'm trying to make that tension wrench. So what I've done is I've taped this clear plastic bag onto the screen and now I'm going to try to draw it onto the bag without screwing everything up. Because I really want to try to pick a tubular lock. So I'm going to use this handy dandy ruler and I'm going to trace this like this because then I know exactly how long it is like that like that like that like that like that and now I'll just wing it freehand. I'm not drawing on the computer, so that's one end of it. And then the other end has a little thing there. Screwed that up a little bit. That side, that side, that side. And I measured these out kind of first. So. And that's what I did. Permanent marker, right? So now, I'm just going to take that off. And then that's what you're left with. So then, I have this. This is a old butter knife. And then, if, if you have a look here, when I'm done doing this. See that? It fits right on there. And I measured it. What you see on here is actual size. I'm pretty sure. These picks, I don't know. But that, in between those two prongs is almost a quarter inch. And it fits on my lock. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay, well, I can't uh, film the grinder, I guess. But... I'm going to have to put out more than one video. So this is the first part, second part, and then I'll show you the finished product. Thank you for watching. Everybody have fun and keep on picking. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is part two. Okay, you remember the first part? I used this. I put it on the screen. Okay, now I've worked on this for a little bit. First, I went to the big grinder, and I did this. I roughed out all these kind of shapes here, if you can see that. I just roughed it all out and then I put it in the vise and I kind of got it a little bit looking a little nicer if you can see here and all I'm doing is I'm just putting it in the vise like this putting it in here I'm just following that black line and oh yeah I'm, I'm using those finishing files they're coming in really handy right now for this so you just line it up with your black marks, throw it in here, and then like if you come around this side please, now look here, see where my marks are, they're just sticking up there, one there, right there and right there. So all I'm going to do first is I'm just going to keep doing this until I get what I want it to look like. This will help you make it look like a uh, professional. Okay, guys, I'll tune back in when I'm done it. Thanks for watching. Everybody have fun and keep on picking. Okay, guys, here it is. That's what I come up with after all the jigama jargon. Scratching through it. That's what it looks like. does work, <clears throat> but it could work a little better. As you see, so I think that'll do though. It'll get me through to be able to pick this. So that was the whole show. So that's her right there. Thanks for uh, checking it out. Just goes to show you can make anything, right? If you take the time. Thanks for the files. Uh, totally came right in handy. So. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have fun. And...
keep on picking them, eh? Hey.